with you guys. Thank you so much for connecting with us today. Excellent, that's great. Thanks for joining us today. Then let's start by praying. Let's pray. Let's put our hands together and close your eyes. Thank you, Lord, for this brand new day. Thanks for all the new things that you prepared for us today. We praise your name and we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Good. Then, would you like to wake up Trixie? Okay, can you help me? Let's wake up Trixie. Trixie. Trixie is right here. Let's call Trixie. Trixie, Trixie, wake up. Wake up, Trixie. It's time to wake up. Good morning, kids. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, I'm awake, all awake, because I love to see you guys. Oh, thanks, Trixie. I, we love to see you too. You are so sweet, Trixie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But could you please rub my back? Okay. Do you rub your, your puppy's back? They love that. Aw, do you feel better, Trixie? Ah, uh, way better. Thanks, Susanna. And Susanna, I did my homework. Did you do your homework, kids? Did you do your homework? What did you do, uh, Trixie? I helped my mom this week. And my mom was all happy. Oh, that's great. Good job, Trixie. I'm sure your mom was happier. And kids, did you help your mom at home? Or your dad? Did you help everybody? Did you help somebody? I did, I did, I did. Pick me, Susanna, I did. Okay, Trixie, would you like to tell us what did you do this week? I helped my friend to find her bone toy. It was lost and we sniffed all in the backyard, in my backyard, all around the neighborhood. We were looking for that bone and we found it, woohoo! Oh, good job, I'm sure your friend was really happy. Yes, 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 at the end we were all tired, but happy. Oh, that's so good, Trixie. Good job. That was nice. Kids, did you help somebody this week? That is what we learned last week. We learned that Jesus helped us, and he wants us to help pe other people too. Then, did you do it? I'm sure you did it. It's great. And how did you feel after you uh, helped your friend, Trixie? Oh, as I said, I was tired, but really, really happy. It was a lot of work, but we, I was so happy, I was able to f help my friend. It is a good feeling when we help our friends. It is awesome. Yeah, good job, Trixie. So, Trixie, what is the message for to us today? Oh, it's a good message. It's a great message because Jesus brings us hope. Oh, that is a good message, Trixie. We need hope. We really do. And Jesus is bringing that for us today. Yes, get ready, kids. Get ready, kids. You will get lots of it. Lots of it. Get ready. I'm so excited. You will get lots of hope today because Jesus wants to give it lots to you. Oh, that's good, that's good, we need it, I love it. Then get ready, kids. Maybe Jesus has a plan for you today. Okay. Ruff, 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 bye, bye. It's time to go. It's not time for my nap. Bye, kids. Ruff, ruff. See you next Sunday. Bye, Trixie. Thanks for the message and good job for helping out your friends. Good job, Trixie. Bye, bye. Oh, that was good that Trixie helped her friends. Wow. Then, do you have your Bibles handy or your phone where you can find a Bible? 
We, we are going to read John 14, 25. Are you ready? Oh, the guys are ready. That's awesome. We are all ready. Let's read. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father sent in my name, he will teach you all things and bring, you to rem you rem bring, bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, gives do I give to you. Listen. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say, you heard me say to you, I'm going away, and I will come to you. If you love me and if and you would have re, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. Do you remember last Sunday we thought Jesus was having her last, his last dinner with the disciples and he washes the disciples' uh, feet, remember? Now Jesus is telling them sad news. Jesus is telling the disciples that he's about to leave, to go to a place that they, can, they cannot go. Will you be sad if your dad said, sorry kids, I have to go to work for a month away. I won't be with you. Oh, that will be sad. Oh, what about if it is your mom? Kids, I need to go on a trip, on a business trip. That will be sad, isn't it? Or when your grandma and grandpa go, they go away. They go back home. That is sad. Then the disciples felt really, really sad. And Jesus knew that a hard time was about to come, that it will be really difficult for them. Jesus was telling them ahead of, of time what was going to happen. But it is great. We read Jesus had a plan. When something bad happens and when things are difficult, Jesus had a plan. Nothing takes Jesus by surprise. Do you think Jesus is surprised that Joe Biden won the elections in America? Oh, maybe. Do you think Jesus was sur God was surprised about the COVID and now it's getting worse? No. God is ne ne nothing takes him by surprise. He always had a plan. Don't you feel good that in your situation, God had a plan? God has a plan? And Jesus is telling them here, we just read, he had a plan. I'm going away. Yeah, it will be difficult, but I will send you the, but God, God will send you the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will teach you, will help you, will help you to remember all my words. He had a plan. And also, I will give you peace. So in those times of trouble, I will give you peace. That's amazing. I love plans. I need plans. I need to know ahead what is going to happen. And Jesus is telling them what is going to happen. Then that was Jesus' part. He said, I am the Father. I'm doing, I'm doing this and that and that. Then what is your part? What do you have to do? Jesus said, listen, it said at the very end. The last sentence, it says, so you may, what? Can you say that word? You may believe. Can you repeat it? You may believe. Believe. That is an amazing word. That is great. Do you believe in God? 
Do you believe he can help you in this situation? Do you believe? And it's interesting. Before the word believe, it says the word may. That word is telling me that you may or may not. That is telling me that Jesus is leaving that up to you. It's your choice. You choose if you want to believe or not. Some people don't believe. That is sad. But you can choose to believe. What do you believe in? Do you believe in the government? Now that Biden is the president of America. Or now with the, our prime minister. Or the government here should do something about this COVID thing. Do you believe on, the, on that? Or do you believe that it's your, your mom and your dad that always help you? Yes, they do. They love you. But they cannot be with us all the time. Or do you believe that it's uh, your friends? Oh, is that Hannah is so cool. She, is, she knows she understands me so good. I, I, I believe in her. Or maybe do you believe in your own skills? I used to do that because God gave us really good skills. I can do things. I know how to do it. I know how to handle this situation. But when I do things on my own, eesh, sometimes it doesn't go really well. Jesus wants that we put our skills in his hands and together, ha, and his plan, we can go, move, move forward. We can go ahead. Jesus doesn't want us. To trust on sand. Do you see? Oh, it's messy. Do you see this sand? Do you remember that song that we used to sing about the wise man who built his house on the... Oh, that is hard. On the rock. Who is the rock? Yes. God is the rock. That is where who should we... Who, who should, who, well, I cannot talk. We should believe in the rock. Because the storms will come, troubles will come, COVID will come, Biden or Trump will come. And we will still be standing on the rock. Nothing will be destroyed, nothing will destroy us. But if we try believe in other things, those things, we never know what may happen. We never know what could happen. Then we better <clears throat> believe in the rock that is strong, that is powerful. God is our almighty God, all powerful. Yes, he is with us all the time. And Jesus was telling all those things before they happen. And Jesus was telling them to believe before things happen. Because we have to believe in our minds. Believe in that miracle before it happens. When you, you don't have to wait until you see, then you will believe. You have to think and believe that the miracle will happen. When you change your mind and your thoughts, your heart will change. You won't be like that or grumpy all the time. Ah, ah, ah. This COVID, this mask, oh, things at the school, all oh, my friends, I cannot play with them. Oh, oh, oh. You won't be grumpy anymore. But if you believe that things will go well, that God is in charge, that God has a plan, uh, your heart will feel better. And your words will change. You won't say, Mom, I cannot do this math homework. I will never learn, learn this. Oh, my friend will never like me. No. When you believe in your mind, your heart changes. And your words change too. And your words are so powerful. If you want things to happen, say good things.
things, say good words, they will like me. Yeah, they could be cool, Hannah could be so cool, but I'm so cool too, because God made me. Then, yeah, change your words. When you change your mind, your heart, your words will change too. Isn't it amazing? Okay, what else we have in here? Jesus, before they, he, before they told them that they, he was about to go, Jesus told them that he is the way. He is the way. Sometimes in our problems, in our situations, we don't see the way. Mom, I cannot solve this homework. I don't see how. Sometimes we don't see it. But if you don't see it, that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Sometimes I, I, you ask your mom or your dad or your brother, come help me with this homework. And your mom comes and she says, oh, I'll do this and do that and that is done. <gasps> Was that easy? How come I didn't see it before? Yeah, that happens. If you don't see it, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Sometimes in the natural, we need to see things happening. Yeah, we see our friends sick or our parents or we see somebody sick. We see the natural. That is what we see. Let's make room here. I'm ready. In the natural, probably there is not a way. The experts will say there is not a way. The, all the government is telling us all the rules. The natural is telling us one thing, there is no way. That's how it is, sorry. That's the natural and that is what we see. What do I have in here? What is the natural telling us? What happens if I drop this egg? Do you know what will happen if I drop this egg? Oh! All broken. You knew it. I knew it. It was going to happen. Because it's what the natural says. But Jesus said, I'm the way. Can you close your eyes right now? Close them. Imagine that egg that I had in here. Imagine something else might happen. Something extraordinary. You can open your eyes now. Did you get it? What did you think? Maybe a bird will come and grab the egg. Maybe some wings will come to the, to the egg and fly. Maybe I will be able to catch it quickly and avoid it to, to, avoid it to, to, to break it. Many things can happen when you believe. When you believe that something extraordinary, something great will happen. And that is what Jesus has for, that to, for us today. That is what, what um, Trixie told us that Jesus has for us today. And that is... Ta-da! Ta-da! Can you say it? Hope. Yes, that is what Jesus has for us today. When things go bad, when the natural is telling us there is no way, Jesus has the way. And maybe Jesus doesn't have one way. Maybe he has many ways, many solutions. Probably we don't see it, but we have to believe. Believe it, that something good is going to happen. That is what is hope, that even though we don't see it in the natural with our, uh, with our eyes, we don't have a solution, it won't happen right now, maybe not in two months, maybe not in six months, who knows when. I've heard a great testimony two weeks ago about Kathleen. She was sick for 43 years. 
with this really bad sickness. And it was excited. She told us that God healed her. And she's okay after 43 years. That's amazing. And that is what God has for us today. Because hope is an unstoppable force. Yes! Woohoo! Woohoo! When you have hope, nothing can stop you. There are hundreds of possibilities, hundreds of ways. You will be happy. You have hope. You will win this battle. You will win this situation because Jesus is releasing hope to all of you today, to all of you at home, to all of us. The force is with us. God bless you. See you next week. Bye. So smoothly done there with the transition. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Hey, it's great to have you with us. Hey, Susanna, thank you so much for the message this morning. Wasn't that a great message of hope? Yes, did you get your hope infusion? Yes. Um, I, I wasn't planning to come up here to begin with, uh, but I, I really felt that there was a word that I was seeing the Lord speaking over Susanna this morning, and I wanted to release it first thing, um, and I'm, I'm going to do that now. I just saw on you, you, you know how you're dressed as Princess Leia this morning? Anyone notice that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really felt like that the Lord was saying actually that, that there was no, um, that there was, <laughs> it makes a noise as well, <laughs> oh, that's so funny, um, that in the spirit you're a princess Leia, and I was seeing that your special power, one of the special powers that God has given you um, is a gift of healing, um, and the Lord just wants to uh, increase that on your life. Um, and I just bless that over you. Um, it's, it's a Catherine Corman type anointing. Um, and I just bless that to grow into full maturity and full expression in the name of Jesus. Bam. Wow. Amen. All right. Tag. Thank you, Lord. Thanks, Matthew.